biggest thing I've learned, I've learned uh, since I've been in the NBA is just what a true professional actually is and realizing that, that this is my job. And not to say this isn't still fun for me, but realizing it is a job. Being drafted as a 19 year old rookie, having the opportunity to play every night, but being in a losing situation, um, you know, that was one of, that was my first experience as being an NBA player. You know, dealing with that, uh, growing with being kind of a rotational player, coming off the bench, um, and growing to not playing at all. It's been a hell of a journey, and I've learned so much about myself, how to be a professional through it all, no matter what's going on. And then getting to New Orleans. Have an opportunity to kind of just change what the story has been uh, with the new organization, a fresh start. Uh, Coach Gentry. I remember my first conversation with him when I first got to the team a couple of years ago it was very refreshing. Um, he told me that he was going to give me a fresh slate. That's what I wanted to hear. Being the number one player in the country it definitely was like a spotlight on me, but I never really felt like it was that big of a spotlight. I think that's largely being I was from Chicago and what I was doing had already been done before a couple times with Derrick Rose, Anthony Davis, uh, Jabari Parker. So like that spotlight never really felt that big. The one thing I've done to try to adapt to today's game, uh, I've changed my body. Uh, when I look at how I came into the league and now night and day difference from my routine to the sleep that I get, you know, my hydration to how I eat. Um, all that has changed. Uh, coming in as a 19 year old, I really didn't, a lot of the knowledge I have now on how to take care of my body, I didn't have. Um, since I've gotten that knowledge, uh, I haven't looked back. Yeah, uh, I love Miami. Um, my performance coach is based out of Miami, David Alexander, um, DBC. Uh, he's one of the, he kind of laid the blueprint for me um, as far as transforming my body after my third year in the league, so a couple years ago. Um, and I had a conversation with him, and I basically asked him, what he, is he ever gonna leave Miami? And he told me no. So once he told me that, I knew I had plans of training with him every off season. Um, so I figured this was a, a good place for me to go home. Um, and yeah, there's just a bunch of that stuff that I like to do. I'm a really active person, so, you know, I like going to the beach, I like riding my bike, so the weather's always nice here. Um, all the good restaurants, I'm a big foodie, so much good food out here, so uh, I just fell in love with Miami. Someone asked me to do a custom piece based on like their family and what they're about. Kind of like what I did for you, but on a bigger scale. And then we hung, we hung it in their, the entrance of their house. And I was like, wait, so these, I could actually like hang these paintings like in people's homes and like I told my dad like yeah, let me try to take this on full time and see where it leads to it. And four or five years later we're here and we're it, I'm, I'm doing what I love and we're flowing. Super cool. Yeah, it's exciting. Teddy boy, which you can see the four footer, he was born with a screw within his face. So he he serves as a symbol to like that you could still be different and be accepted in the world. They, the screw, I was back and forth with it being, it was with the bolt here. Glasses, I wanted it to be like a futuristic thing. So like, it's like a magnet on the face. This flower knows with Mickey, Panda Man. So eventually maybe one day animation as well. Yeah. I, I found what I love, which obviously not everyone gets to do it, and it's just, I can't sleep because I'm like constantly thinking of like, what's like the next thing I could do, and like the next creation from merchandise to statues to maybe one day animation. I haven't left any door closed, and we'll see where it takes me.
one day at a time. The support's been good and everyone that now you're going to be part of the journey as well with the piece we did for you and we're in this together at the end. It's fun. We're excited. We're excited. The biggest eye opener for me when it came to mental health was just how many people was dealing, how many people are dealing with it today. Realizing I wasn't the only one. Realizing that the issues, the problems that I was having, wasn't weird, wasn't out of the normal. And also realizing there was a way to handle handle that. Meditating throughout the day, uh, having like a good meditation practice has really helped me uh, calm my mind, center myself, uh, just be in the moment. Definitely, I've been through a lot of adversity and it has completely changed my perspective on life. I think uh, the first girls was losing my mom at an early age, uh, at nine. Um, but luckily I have an amazing support system in my family. Uh, if you know me, you know my dad, my bigger supporter. Uh, my aunt, you know, his older sister who's been there for me. The, the, my entire family, they really, they really helped me out through that time. But that changed my perspective because I just realized that tomorrow isn't isn't guaranteed, and um, so now I, you know, I say I love you a lot more than I probably would have. You know, I don't go a day where I don't tell my loved ones that I love them. And I will be in the Olympics. Uh, my plan is to I'm playing for Nigeria. I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm Nigerian. My my grandpa was born in Nigeria, so he was the first person for my family to come over. So not that many generations down. Um, and I went to Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria, and Anugu, Nigeria, when I was in seventh grade for like two weeks. I have a lot of family that's still there. And it was a very eye-opening experience. And just it made me really just appreciate what we have here. Um, seeing some of the real starters that they have there, but also on the same token, you know, in seventh grade, I didn't realize how uh, urban, I guess, Nigeria was. You know, I, I always thought Africa was like, I was just don't see lions, stuff like that. That's all I knew as a kid. But growing there as a 13 year old, I realized like, it wasn't like that. You know, they had McDonald's, they had everything that we had here. Obviously it was, it was, it was definitely different, but um, that was pretty cool to see. The overall feeling for me going into year six, man, it's, just excitement, a lot of excitement. Uh, man, I'm happy I'm gonna Detroit. Everything I have, um, and I'm growing there a much better person and better player than ever before. Uh, so I'm really excited to be a Piston. My advice I would tell my, my 19 year old self would be, man, just to be in the moment, you know, not worry so much about what's to come or what's happened, but more so what's going on now. And using that time wisely putting energy only into things that you can control. Um, that's definitely what I would tell 19-year-old me.